Hey, this is Danson DIY, and today we're going to be replacing these normal three-way switches with some smart switches that have built-in dimmers. In the end, these will be able to be controlled with our voice. Hey Google, turn off our nook light. Sure, turning the nook light off. We have two different types of switches that we used for this. The switch on the left is the main controller, while the switch on the right is the add-on switch. The add-on switch is only needed for three-way configurations. The controller is connected to whichever side is the line, while the other switch is connected to the load. These switches require a Z-Wave hub. We used one from Samsung SmartThings. Going a step beyond, you can connect the hub to your voice assistant, so you can control the lights with your voice. The first step was to unscrew the front plate of the switches. Now before you do anything else, make sure to turn off the circuit to stay safe. After that's done, you can actually unscrew the switch and expose the wiring behind it. If the switch you're disconnecting is a three-way switch, make sure to test which side is the line because this will impact the type of switch you need to install. We tested this using a non-contact current tester. If you want to learn more about this, we'll have some good videos linked in the description right by the like button. After we found out that the switch we were testing was the line, we opened up the corresponding switch to make sure it was the load. This step was pretty much optional, but it's better to be safe than sorry. We then went back to the original switch. We disconnected it and installed the new switch. We were also replacing the dimmer switch that we installed next to it. The process for this was pretty much the same. If you want to learn more about how we originally installed it, we'll also have a link in the description. After that, we could break off the side flaps on the switches and screw them back into place. We then went over to the other side of the switches where the load is, and replaced them with the add-on ones. The way you do this is basically the same as the other switches. Once you've closed everything up, you're pretty much done. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you all in the next one.